everyone. Welcome to this video. Today is March 17th. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Now, I'm one of those weirdos that does celebrate St. Patrick's Day and we do go all out. Last weekend, we were up in Northern Utah at my grandparents St. Patrick's Day party. And you should like edit in those <laughs> I should. That's a whole story in and of itself. I'll add the photos just because they're wild and you're gonna be like, you're crazy, Grace. You're gonna be right here in the middle. Um, but we are driving currently up to, where is it? Taylorsville, Taylorsville. south of Salt Lake. Um, because one of my best friends is getting married. Well, she got married early today and her reception is this evening. So we're driving up there and we decided we wanted to make a video because we just stopped <coughs> at Sonic. One of my favorites. Back when we lived in New Mexico, there were no like food places to go. No fast food places. Like there wasn't like this hip joint in town that everyone went to. Everyone went to Sonic. <laughs> and that was like the hip place to go after high school basketball games, football games. Everyone went to Sonic. And so like deep down in my heart, I have a love for Sonic. I also have a love. She hates hot dogs. Okay. I hate hot dogs. I hate most all like processed meats like that are put together like ground beef. I'll eat ground turkey. I like ground turkey. You eat ground beef. I do, but seeing it in the package grosses me out. <laughs> but I have a confession. <laughs> I love Sonic corn dogs. I love them so much. I love like almost all corn dogs, but Sonics are like my favorite. And so we just stopped and got corn dogs because it was half off corn dogs today. Or buy one get one what was it 50 percent off 50 percent off corn dogs today so we stopped and got corn dogs to help us decide where we want to eat tonight because we were hungry but we didn't want to eat a full meal until after the reception so we stopped and got corn dogs and we stopped at maverick and filled up our tall glasses with diet dr pepper wait what did you get yeah mountain zero and diet coke it's not my drink of choice typically. It just sounded good today. Yeah, it's kind of like a limey diet coke. It's a little bit more straight lime instead of the Mountain Dew lime. Yeah. But it's yummy. It's good. It wouldn't be my drink of choice. But it's yummy. So we also wanted to tell you guys what our first date was. Because really nobody knows Jackson. They don't. They've seen one video of him, and if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen pictures of him, but not many people know Jackson. So, where are you from? Uh, originally Magnet, Utah, but I'm about mostly Vegas. Vegas. And what was your favorite sport? Baseball. It still Baseball. is his favorite sport. And how many siblings do you have? One younger brother and then your siblings. And then my siblings because now we're all just siblings and family. It's not his family and my family. It's our family together, which I love. Um, and where was our first date? It was in Las Vegas. We went to Pink Box and then hung out with the hobos at the park. So this is my idea. I was like, there's this new donut place because this place called Pink Box had just opened up by my house. I had never been. I, I had been to the other location which was closer to my house in Vegas. And I'll just throw it out there. Pink Box has these very extravagant donuts. They're very fancy, all specialty kinds of donuts. whatever specialty donuts that people rave over. And I would say they're extremely overrated. Like way overpriced, way overrated. They have a couple that are pretty good. Yes. But for the most part, it's just like, why are you wiping the box? Yeah, and I didn't know this because I've never been. So we went and they were fine. I actually choked on my donut. <laughs> I was like coughing the rest of our day. This was like 10 minutes in. I'm like, <laughs> choking on my donut. He's like, I have water in my car. I'm like, I'm okay. I'm like dying over there. 
So we are walking around this park and it's late. It's like, what time was it? Probably like 9, 30, 10. It was after that because I left. I was at a wedding reception before this. So I left the wedding reception at 9 30. So, oh, so we, it was like 10. We met up for donuts at about 10. And we were at the park a little after that. And this is a sketchy park. Like, I wouldn't look. I mean, I would go there in the day. But, like, I would stay in a very visible location. <laughs> so we're walking around the park. And I'm. I get to the point where I'm like, I should probably like go back to my house. This is kind of sketchy. First date, I've never actually hung out with him before. And so, I was like, let's go back. We can walk up and down my street because we're having a good time. We were just talking and enjoying each other's company. And so, we just went back to my street, walked up and down the street. And that was our first date. That was it. Your sister and her friends drove up the street and saw us. Oh, yeah. So we stopped and talked to them for a few minutes. And then after, Sophia was like, oh, he was so cute. Oh, my. Yeah, he was cute. I also told them they were going to be seeing more of me. You did? Yeah, I think I so. I don't remember that. <laughs> I, I think I said, like, hey, maybe you'll be seeing more of me. Or hopefully you'll be seeing more of me. Something like that. That's funny. So, after the date, you get in your car. What's your first impression? My first impression? Yeah, well, well, like, you already had your first impression, but what was your first thoughts after I don't not being with remember me? exactly, but the, the whole drive, because I, so by the time I left her house, it was like 11 o'clock, and I had to drive to Provo, Utah, and I said, I'm going to stop in St. George. So I had to drive to St. George. Which is two hours. Yeah, it's about two hours from her house, not too bad. But the whole drive, I was just like, man, I really liked that girl. I, like, I don't know what's going to happen, but it, there has to be more than one date. Like, I have to keep talking to her. After first, whatever, impressions, I come back in, and my sister and her friend were downstairs hanging out, so I went downstairs, and, you know, they were asking, how was it? They were scared. You know, like little girlies do. And... I was like, it was super fun, it was super nice, like very gentleman. Um, I loved, this is kind of weird, but I love that he didn't, did you try to hug me? I don't think you did try to hug me. I love that he didn't try to hug me and he like didn't try to like hold my hand at all or make it flirty or anything. He just wanted to get to know me and I loved that. Well, because to be fair, both of us going into that day were like, it's a one and done. Yeah. We were both like, she lives in Vegas. I live in Provo right now. It's not going to work, but it would be fun. Like, let's just get together, go on a date, and get to know each other. At, at best, we'll stay friends. Yeah. So, I love, like, how respectful and kind and just gentleman he was. And then the next day, I talked about it with my mom. And I always have my dates come in and meet my parents. That's just what I did when I was dating people. Because if you're going to know me, you're going to know my parents too. Like, that's, that was just, like, my rule for myself. And my mom said he was very, um, what did she say? She was very, he was very confident in himself. And as soon as she said that, I was like, oh, he was. Like, so confident in just how he held himself, how he delivered himself in all aspects. I was dressed nice that night. Yeah. Was <laughs> he was in, he was in a nice pink, like light pink button down and these pants actually that he's wearing right now little khakis and then I <laughs> I wore bright blue leggings like royal blue and then I had what's that band I don't even the Rolling Stones yeah, yeah, I had a Rolling no, yeah. is that what it is, is it a Rolling Stones yeah, it was yeah Rolling Stones. a Rolling Stones t-shirt on and I had curled my hair and I did my makeup and everything because I had spent the whole day at the lake I was like crap I'm going on a date I gotta look nice <laughs> so I ran home super fast showered, got ready, and then we went to the And so, even though we didn't think it was going to go anywhere, here we are. Married. Married. Found it. The funny thing was, she decided she didn't want to go on that date, but she's the one who asked me. I did. I did ask him out. But that, that's the ticket, ladies. If you're looking for a man, don't be afraid to ask him out, because if you are... And she 
had already offered to bring me out to the lake one time while I'm just what, eventually anytime? when I could, yeah, next time I was in Vegas. Like, for fun. And I didn't think I was going to make that happen anytime soon. I, I mean, I knew I'd be back in Vegas at least once or twice over the summer. But I told her I was in town, not expecting to even get a shot because I was going to be super busy and she was super busy. And she's like, you know what, let's just make it happen. And so the date didn't even start till after 9.30. And she's normally in bed by nine. So. Yeah. What time did we go to bed last night? I was ready for bed at like last, last night? night. We were. We went, I went. We went to bed at about eight fifty or nine fifteen. I mean. Yeah. We were in bed about nine fifteen. You were out by about nine thirty, nine forty. And then I was but, just reading. That's just how I roll. I just go to bed early. But I decided that I needed to go on a date, and I am so glad that I did. Because this is my best friend in the whole entire world. So anyways, that is our first date story. There's a lot more to it, but I'm sure That's something more details. Now.